So the other day, I was just doing my usual stuff, exploring the internet, and I stumbled upon something called Superbium. And I was like, how did I not know about this? This is a really cool web browser actually or maybe really useful web browser for the people who has low spec pcs or old pcs so as you guys know most of the modern web browsers drop support for old windows operating systems like the windows xp uh, 7 8 if you try to install the web browser on them like chrome firefox or edge they won't work on them so this is a free and open source project at github called supermium so this is the official github page and guess what this is a direct fork of chromium so i think most of you guys know that chromium is a google's free and open source project and google chrome is also based on chromium yeah i mean chrome isn't open source but the chromium is open source you know the source code is publicly available so anyone can fork and make their own web browser and all that so someone actually there is a name this guy <laughs> shane is and also all these people have created a web browser that works even on older windows systems like the windows xp vista 7 and they are actually keeping this up to date okay this is actually a really cool project there are people who still use the old windows versions and they want to use the web browser that is up to date and secure uh yeah this is probably one of the best web browser for that okay they are keeping this up to date and these are the official website and this is the uh, official github page and one more thing i want to mention do not google this okay do not do the supermium and uh, i don't know if this is a official website or not since on github it says these are the only official links for some reason when you do a supermium google search uh, this website comes out and i'm pretty sure this is not a official website so try to go on the github page and from there get to the official website and then you know get the superbium so according to the official sources the github this is probably not a official website so again please get it from the official website do not download from an official website so you can go to one of these websites and download it or you can go to the github and go to releases and get it from here or you can go to the official website here you can get clear information about the web browser like when this was last updated and all that okay they release at least one or two updates every month so they are keeping this up to date okay and even though it is meant for the older windows versions but it works with the latest windows versions too like the windows 7 10 okay only 700 megabytes you know <laughs> minimum six system requirement but two gigabyte or more is recommended for smooth browsing experience it will work on the slow you know processor too so again as i said this web browser is actually cool because it will work on the low-end pcs or anyone who's looking for a less resource intensive web browser based on chromium then this is probably good and it also has the 32-bit and 64-bit support so i'm actually gonna download the 64-bit and let's install this and try it out and let's see how this thing actually works do you want to install superbium let's install it i'm gonna install it to the d drive and let's create a shortcut let's install it for all users uh, enable classic v60 interface mode in shortcut oh the classic look i think i'm just gonna go with the modern look actually enable ungoogled superbium mode in shortcut you can have multiple methods okay i'm just gonna go with this and let's hit okay here is the shortcut let's open that okay now we have the modern look because we chose to have a modern look <laughs> so uh let's not sign in for now let's not set to the default skip yeah look at that this is a google chrome uh you know uh, this is the google chrome yeah they look the same and 
it's probably a little bit faster. So Permium, 0% CPU usage and 100 something megabyte, almost 200. And the Chrome is using 360 megabyte. That's, that's a lot. The Supermium supports old Windows versions. It is better in terms of performance, basically. You can say that. Let's try to open this in here and see the speed. Wow. That's fast. Yeah, I mean, they're the same thing. They're gonna render similarly and they're gonna have the similar, you know, speed. Again, as I said, you can do the test by yourself. In my opinion, this is probably a perfect web browser. If you have a computer that just can't run Chrome and you need a Chromium-based web browser that works a little bit better than Chrome, then yeah, this, this is cool. I think for the new updates, you'll have to go to the Supermium website or, or the uh, GitHub page to get the latest version. That's going to be annoying. Uh, other than that, I think it's a pretty cool web browser. I mean, these are the minimum system requirement for this web browser. So this will work really well, even on really, really old and slow computers. So if you have a slow computer and looking for something that works fast and that is also based on Chrome, then you can try this out. And one more thing, they also tried doing the same thing with Firefox. So as you guys know, Firefox is also free and open source web browser. So anyone can make their own web browser based on Firefox. The engine is actually called Gecko, just like Chrome. The main thing is Chromium, uh, but it looks like they abandoned it. They are just now focused on Supermium. No matter what people say, Chrome is actually fast and the best web browser. Even if, okay, let's say you hate Chrome for some reason, Chromium is actually good web browser. You know, the Edge is now also based on Chromium because it's better, it just works, <laughs> okay? So just like that, uh, you know, I think something went wrong with the Super Fox. <laughs> so yeah, no, sadly, no Super Fox is being maintained. Only the Super Meme is here. I think this is a really cool project for old computers. Again, if you have a slow and old computer, you can try this out. This is a, again, really cool project in my opinion. And yeah, rest. I know you guys are smart. I don't need to talk too much. Unfortunately, I didn't know about this till now. I don't know how nobody told me about this, but somehow, again, as I said, I was just exploring the internet and I saw someone talking about this and I was like, yeah, this is actually a really cool web browser. If you have an old computer, you need to know about this. You guys are smart, I know. You can also do some little bit of research by yourself. So yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.